Hey guys, Irius here and welcome along to another video. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 where we've got a new time trial and it's the toughest by far to date. But as always, I'm going to show you how I did it as simply and as easily as possible. I'm going to show you how you need the car to be, how to set up the car and then how I did my lap. But before we get into that, if you could do me a favor, if you haven't already, and hit that subscribe button. Only six out of 10 people who watch my content are subscribed, and I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you're watching and you haven't subscribed already, it would really help me out. With that being said, let's get started and let me show you how I defeated, in my opinion, the hardest time trial by a mile so far here on Gran Turismo 7. Okay guys, here we go. We've got the new lap time challenge here. We've got to get a Ford Mustang around Laguna Seca in one minute. Well, 3% of one minute, 27.009 at the time of making this video. My record is a 129.609, which as you're going to see, has got me in 2.99% of the world record. So we currently have gold, but you can only use sports soft tires. The car can only be 443 brake horsepower and it's got to weigh at least 1300 kilos. So before we get even into tuning, you've got to go get the car and you've got to get it in the right shape. So let's go and do that. Brand Central, America, Ford, showroom, Mustang GT 2015. This is the one. This is the one. Choose any color you want and purchase it once you've bought the car you've got to head down to gt auto and before we even go to car customization you've got to do one thing and that is to buy the wide body i've already bought it modification to the car the reason we need to do it is so that we can now add custom parts we want to add a front splitter i've added type b and you need to add a wing i've gone custom wing and just gone for the normal one it puts a wing on the car and then you can address the downforce now that you've done that you can head over to the tuning shop and we can finally start tuning this thing and i'm going to take you page by page through what i bought on page one the sports page i bought weight reduction stage one and i bought the sports soft tires don't worry about the sports hard that is what comes with the car on the second page, the Cub Sport page, I have bought Weight Reduction Stage 2 and I have bought Ballast. You'll see why we need that later on. Semi Racing page, third page, I have bought the fully customizable LSD and I've bought the Weight Reduction Stage 3. And then moving on to the fourth and final page, we didn't buy anything here on the Extreme page as you can see. We bought quite a lot. We bought the Racing Intercooler, we bought the Racing Air Filter, we bought the racing brake pads. We bought the racing brake kit. Doesn't matter, I don't think, if you have drilled or slotted. We went with drilled. We bought the brake balance controller, the fully customizable suspension, the racing clutch and flywheel, and the fully customizable racing transition. The fully customizable racing transmission. So now we bought all of that, we can start doing what we need to do with the car. So what we'll see here as we go into the online time trial, you don't really need to do too much with the power. Don't really touch the power at all. You just need to make it as light as possible, but not too light. And we need to get all the parts that don't affect how fast this car is or how much power it has. We need to get those maxed out. Next thing we can do is go into the car settings. Go into the detail settings, and this is the stuff you need. Don't ask me how I got to this because it is a labor of love. Essentially, just copy this. Copy this stuff. The main things that I would draw your attention to is the LSD stuff. So what this does is basically it's how it delivers the power. This thing is an absolute monster, okay? So it's going to give you... It's going to give you kittens if you get on the power too early. If you want to know what anything does, all you need to do is press square and it will tell you what's going on. But what I've essentially done is turn down the initial torque 
the acceleration sensitivity and the braking sensitivity. So whenever you get on the power, it's going to get much, much easier. Other things that I've done, I've turned the downforce all the way up on both sides. That's why we needed a front splitter and a rear wing. Otherwise, the standard car does not come with either of these, so you don't have the option to change the downforce. And I have added ballast because when we do the three stage weight reduction, it's actually 57 kilos too much. So you've got to buy the ballast so we can get exactly to the 1,300 kilos that we need. Here's everything else so you can see it. I've just added racing where we can and that is absolutely everything. So take photos of these. Please use it as much as you need. Share it with who you want. These are my settings. Now, normally what I would do is I would take you to the replay section and we'd break down a replay. But I don't think, to be quite honest, there's any value in that because everything's going to be tuned differently, even down to the gearing. The weight's going to be different, yada, yada, yada. The power delivery is going to be different, so I don't think that's going to help you. So what I am going to do is I am going to roll on the clips of my best time, my 1 minute 29.609, which is 0.299% inside the world record time, and I want you to do what I normally show you. So what I want you to do is have a look at my braking points, have a look at my gearing, and that's about it. You know that phrase? Give a man a fish, he can eat for a day. Teach a man how to fish, he'll have lunch forever or whatever that phrase is. That is what I want you guys to do in this one. But do notice as well quite how much this one means to me. It took me absolutely ages to get this one. I hope everything that I've just shown you helps. If it does, guys, please, as always, leave a like on the video. Please also make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new around here or if you haven't already. Best of luck, guys. This is a tough one. Did I do it? Please say I did it. We did it! Yes! Oh. Oh. That is... That is horrendous.